Good morning, folks. Today we've got updates on the CME. We've got two new shots from the James Webb Space Telescope. There's a new window open in geologic dating, and they've spotted another super flare on a sun-like star. But let's begin with the last 24 hours on the sun, and we find nothing but quiet. No significant flares or eruptions. We still have sunspots and plasma filaments, but it's been a very calm few days here. You'll remember there was a weak CME on its way to Earth, nothing scary, and that did arrive overnight as you can see in the solar wind telemetry. Phi angle was north, so Earth's magnetic field perfectly deflected the weak incoming stream. No geomagnetic storms occurred at all. We will obviously keep watching for flares and CMEs and even a small but centrally located coronal hole. We're still in sunspot maximum and should remain there for all of 2025. But let's go next to our eye candy. Gorgeous shot here of the James Webb infrared capability. If it looks like someone put red splotches on a normal galaxy photo, yes, that's what Webb does better than any other. Seeing the infrared re-emission by dust and gas under the X-ray and UV bombardment within the galaxy. Now, In that same vein, the Sombrero galaxy from Hubble here looks wildly different under the eyes of Webb. Vastly less active star formation here, which is why the infrared returns almost look like someone took a hospital x-ray of a normal galaxy. Core and outer ring left mostly visible. Folks, we've got scientists here saying that iodine isotope records perfectly trace geomagnetic excursions, the rapid pole shifts like the one we're in the early stages of now. This will hopefully help solidify the various 6,000 year events in the timeline. Exactly why iodine traces it so well is still a bit of a mystery, but it's a pretty good bet. Cosmic radiation is playing a role in it. Last but not least on the article front, they have found a sun-like star ripping an X-1700 super flare. It's not of any concern and is very far away, but it does reconfirm the concept that sun-like stars do super flare and exceed that X-1000 range. By the way, we're due for the next sun super flare this century, overdue now actually already. Remember folks, next conference at Observer Ranch is tomorrow with more scheduled in the months ahead. Come see us. We'd love to shake your hand in person. ObserverRanch.com And on the Observer Ranch shop, Cat is pretty giddy about the Black Friday and Small Business Saturday deals. Use the code on the page. Grab our books if there are any you don't have yet. Plus, there is much, much more. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.